Xavi Hernandez has announced that he is quitting Barcelona at the end of the season, leaving Barcelona in a bit of a conundrum. Who do they appoint as their next manager? Well, I'm going to use FM24 to take a look at some of the leading candidates for this role and see how they get on and managing this current Barcelona side. In this video, I will be taking a look at the five top tier candidates who are in the running for the Barcelona job. Mikel Arteta, Hansi Flick, Jose Mourinho, Jurgen Klopp and Rafael Marquez, who is the current B team manager of Barcelona and a club legend as well. And if you don't already, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the performance and it really helps me grow as a content creator. Now let's get into taking a look at Mikel Arteta and how he did in his first season at Barcelona. And if you haven't seen these videos before, we're going to take a look at how they did in the competitions. We're going to take a look at their transfers. We're going to take a look at the tactics and so much more. Starting off, Mikel Arteta is currently the Arsenal manager in real life, doing very, very well with them, which is hard to admit as me being a Spurs fan. But as Barcelona manager, we'll start off with La Liga and he finished runners-up to Real Madrid, losing five games, drawing eight and winning 25 of those. Robert Lewandowski or Robert Lewandowski, whatever you want to call him, was top goal scorer in the league. Players of the match goes to Ferran Torres, who's had an absolute storming season under Mikel Arteta. Frankie de Jong is the, best, the biggest assist king in the league as well assisting 12 of those goals let's take a look at the tactic that Arteta was playing to drive those goals and we can see here's a 4-3-3 system with the trident being Torres, Rafinha and Lewandowski in the midfield is Dijon, Gavi and Gundogan that's a solid solid midfield Mika Fey played a fair few games at centre back the young defender and it's a team that you would highly expect to see from Miguel Arteta and his man. Now those players in that system, how do they get on? Lewandowski got 28 goals. Ferran Torres got 15 goals. Rafinha got 11. Gundogan with 8 and Pedri with 8 as well. All playing a lot, a lot of games in this season. The schedule, well, we have to take a look at it. They got to the Champions League quarterfinal being dumped out by their arch rivals, Real Madrid, which would have hurt Barcelona fans well, it would have really, really hurt them. I, I would imagine that would not be go down well with many Barcelona fans, in my humble opinion. But what he did do, Mikel Arteta did win a trophy in his first season as Barcelona manager, beating arch nemesis Real Madrid in the final after being dumped out of the Champions League. So not only did he finish second in the league, which is good for Barcelona, but he bought them a major trophy in the Copa del Rey, which will go down very, very well with Barcelona fans. His transfers, if we take a look at them this season, he didn't do very, very much. As we know, Barcelona don't have a lot of money. Noah Darvich came in, the young German, played mainly for the B team. He looks fairly, fairly decent from a Barcelona perspective as well. So not much transfer activity, but a major trophy and finishing second at Barcelona is very good with the squad that they've currently got. I'm going to give Mikel Arteta a solid 7.5 out of 10 for this. Next up on the list, we have former Germany and Bayern Munich manager Hansi Flick, who had a great club career with Bayern Munich. Didn't quite replicate it with the German national side, but he was a legendary manager for Bayern Munich. He wasn't there that long, but he won literally anything he could get his hands on at Bayern and brings big, big success to the table here at Barcelona but how did he get on we'll take a look at La Liga first as we always do again finishing second the same as Mikel Arteta but he lost six games drew nine and only won 23 with a 10 point gap between him and Real Madrid and it looks like the players wasn't performing as well under him as they were with Mikel Arteta as we know Lewandowski was top goal scorer in the league, but they're not even in the top three. I mean, you've got players like Ben Brerit and Diaz, who's third top goal scorer in La Liga and can't get a kick for them in real life. But we'll take a look at the tactic and see why this has happened. He's playing a 4-2-3-1, which is it's fair enough. I mean, it's a very standard tactic with with Barcelona. I mean, it's all the players in there that you would expect to see, in my humble opinion. I don't think there's any shocks in that squad there. Pedri, Torres, Lewandowski, Rafinha, De Jong, Gundogan. 
it's it's what you would expect to see in my humble humble opinion we look at the transfers did did hansi flick get his money on anyone i don't think he did which is a shame but as we know they don't have any money it's barcelona at the end of the day lads it's barcelona at the end of the day in terms of the schedule well i mean finishing second getting dumped out by lazio in the Champions League round of 16. The fans probably were calling for his head at this point. But to lose the Spanish Cup final as well to Atletico Madrid on penalties. Well, it's penalties. We've said before on these things where, you know, penalties can go either way. So you have to kind of give them the benefit of the doubt. But no major trophy in there for, for Hansi Flick, which is an absolute shame. He did win the Super Cup on penalties against Real Madrid. So that would have gave him some sort of little extra point here and there to be perfectly honest. But overall, I don't feel like Hansi Flick was a good suit for Barcelona. Didn't progress them in the Champions League, which is something Barcelona fans are desperate for. Going to give him a six. Another manager who has been spoken about and has been at Barcelona before, but has managed Real Madrid in real life. So I think this is an unrealistic one. I don't think it's going to happen, but he is available as a free agent. It is the legend that is Jose Mourinho. And as you can see, he isn't on this list here because he got sacked at the end of the season of Barcelona. So we'll see how he did. I mean, this is probably one of the worst simulations that I've done and one of the worst ones that you will see as well. Barcelona finishing fourth just about. They only lost five games, drew 14, only won 19. So if they turned some of those wins into draws under Jose, they could have done a lot better. It was Robert Lewandowski with 21 goals. And again, I mean, it's one of those things. It's Jose Mourinho ball. We can't take a look at his tactics because he didn't finish at the club but we can take a look at the players and how they've done Lewandowski got 31 goals I think that's an unbelievable goal return you know Jose he, he sort of got that drug bar spirit in Lewandowski and scored hella hella goals you've got Torres who got some goals in there as well Pedri and Jao Felix also sticking in with a few but in terms of the schedule and in terms of the competition well you saw they finished fourth they got knocked out to Inter in the league of well in the first knockout round of the cup they did win the Spanish Cup final, though. He did win the Spanish Cup. So Jose does deliver a trophy to the football club, which is, you know, fair enough. And they did win the Super Cup as well. So Jose got two trophies, but finishing fourth and getting dumped out of the Champions League wasn't enough for the board to keep him. Probably was hard done by, in my opinion, I have to be honest. But I said it was one of the worst. It was one of the worst decisions by the board to get rid of Jose after winning two trophies. But as a Spurs fan, we know boards do silly, silly things. And this is another example of it. Do I think Jose is going to get the Barca job in real life? Absolutely not. But hey, wherever Jose goes, he brings trophies. Club legend Rafael Marquez. And if you don't know about Rafael Marquez, he's one of Mexico's greatest ever players and one of Barcelona's best ever centre-backs, in my opinion as well. He is an unbelievable player and he's turned into a great coach. He's currently managing Barcelona B in real life, promoted him to managing Barcelona in this simulation. And he is the first manager in the simulation series that has won Barcelona la liga and he won it by two points losing six games drawing seven winning 25 Lewandowski was second top goal scorer in the league as well Testengen was second on the clean sheet list Felipe Jorgensen what a goalkeeper he is at Villarreal that's my top tip go and get him if you haven't had him before but I mean in terms of the competitions and how they did it was it was really good from Barcelona apart from the Champions League it seems to be a bit of an issue for managers and Barcelona getting past that round of 16 is very very tricky but winning La Liga is huge they didn't win the Super Cup they lost to Atletico Pamplona which is uh, it's a bit annoying for Rafael Marquez there and then they had a shock defeat to Sueta in the Spanish Cup, the Copa del Rey, but I think he was saved by winning La Liga. I think at that point, a lot of fans would have been calling for his head, even if he is a Barcelona legend. I mean, Jose won more trophies than him, but didn't win the league. Rafael Marquez did win the league, and I feel like that's a big shout. It's the first one to do it as simulation as Barcelona manager, but the tactic he was playing, it was a 4-3-3. It is a system that does suit Barcelona. They've got good holding midfield players, good central midfield players, relied a lot on the youth as well with Lamin Yamal, Torres, Pedri, Gavi in the squad as well. Even Ronald Arejo is fairly, fairly young if, if we're going to gonna give him that one. But the players did respond well to him. Lewandowski got 23 goals. Pedri got 14. Torres got 9. Rafinha had 9 as well. Gavi came in with some, some goals as well. And Frankie de Jong got 11 assists in the season, which I think is fairly, fairly good from Rafael Marquez. 
I mean, he is an inexperienced manager and to take Barcelona to the league title in his first season in charge is something he could really, really build upon. It's a solid 7.9. The last manager to check is Jurgen Klopp and he is probably the most realistic option for Barcelona. I can definitely see this happening in real life and he has won the Spanish La Liga first division and at a canter as well, getting the best out of Lewandowski with 20 goals. He got 93 points, 55 plus goal difference, only three draws and five defeats, 30 wins. He is like Rafael Marquez and delivers a big, big trophy to Barcelona in the first season. Playing a 4 3 3 tactic, as you would expect from Klopp, getting the best out of Yamal, Rafinha, Lewandowski, Pedri, Gavi, and De Jong. It's a solid team, and he's had some great, great performances. In terms of the other conditions and how Klopp got on, he got to the quarterfinal of the Champions League, but was beaten by Newcastle after beating AC Milan the round before. I mean, Newcastle are overpowered on football manager. I feel like Klopp would have beaten Newcastle, but it is what it is at this stage. Got beat in the Spanish Cup as well in a shock to Zago Rofa and lost in the Spanish Super Cup as well. So it's only La Liga for Jurgen Klopp. Him and Rafael Marquez would be great suits for the role. I feel like they would do very, very well. Let me know in the comments below if you want anyone else and we'll run Barcelona round two.